Hi everyone, my name is Kate and I am a crochet artist. These days you can hear everywhere how artificial intelligence will soon take the job from writers, designers and artists and while some of them rebelling, others learning how to work with it and filling the internet with these incredible arts. It's useless to resist the progress and since I'm a crochet artist, it's important for me to understand how I can use it for my own benefit. Today I'm going to generate a summer top which we will crochet together with you. I'll be using this AI, they are free, and give out a beautiful pictures. I have leftovers yarn in green and pink color, so we will give the comments clear. To communicate with it, you can use text comments here, for example, a green crochet summer top with pink flowers elements on it. And here is the results. Well, somehow not very good. Let's try another AI. Let's try this one. And at first it generated some incomprehensible art, but beautiful. And slightly changed the request, I began to receive this. And this is much better. I divided the art into two kinds. The first one I like and I would crochet to myself such top. The second one is also I like, but it's difficult to crochet or I wouldn't wear such a top. The first picture of the type I want to crochet, this one. Very nice elements, these flowers are too big and I don't know, not so good. The second one, well, first of all, is just a t-shirt with crocheted elements on the top. <laughs> crochet t-shirt? Mm, I don't know. And these flower elements on the top, it's too much for me. The third art, beautiful, but the flowers here is incomprehensible and they are as natural and I don't know how to repeat them and with what kind of yarn, I have no idea. Let's move on to the art that I can crochet and I got a lot of really cool art, but I know you're waiting for exactly the one that I will repeat. Top 5 tops that I can repeat. First one. I really like it, but this flower at the middle, it's kind of hackneyed. The second one. And honestly, that's the one I wanted to repeat, but I think if I wear this top, these two flowers will embarrass me because Everyone will looking at them. And finally, the top that I'm going to crochet. But before it, take a look at two more arts. Third and fourth. And here is my favorite. After a lot of attempts, I got this top and I fell in love with it because it's simple and at the same time with interesting flower elements, I will definitely wear it every day. To crochet such top we need my leftovers yarn, hook, scissors and tape measure. Since I have only these skeins of green yarn, I hope it will be enough for this top. If not, we'll come up with this something. Okay, let's get started. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and leave a comment. Okay, <laughs> let's go! We'll need one and a half skeins of green yarn, pink yarn, 3.5 mm hook for pink yarn because it's thinner than green and 4 mm hook for green yarn. Needle, scissor, tape measure and markers. Make a chain of air loops that equal your circumference above your chest in slightly straight form. But the number must be divided by 7 because one flower consists of 7 loops. My circumference above my chest is 80.5 cm, so I will chain of 105 air loops. In a slightly stretched form my chain reaches 80.5 cm, but if I don't stretch it, it only 66 cm. And now we are going to join our chain into a circle, so make sure your chain doesn't twist. Insert the hook into the very first loop, grab the yarn and make a slip stitch the first loop into the second one. Chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, turn your work. 
yarn over two times and this chain is already counted as one stitch so we need to insert the hook into the second loop this is the first and this is the second so insert the hook into the second loop grab the yarn crochet first two loops then two more and two more it's treble crochet then yarn over two times again and insert the hook into the next loop crochet first two loop then two more and two more yarn over two times and do it again so we crochet like this treble crochets until the end of the circle I crochet my last treble crochet and it looks like this you can count the stitches easily and don't forget that the first chain is also count as one stitch and now I'm gonna crochet the flowers so I take the pink yarn and a smaller hook and I will join the row with the pink yarn so find the first chain and count the fourth upper loop and insert the hook into it. Grab the pink yarn and pull it through the all loop on the hook. And slightly pull the tips. Now make a chain of 10 air loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yarn over two times and insert the hook into the fifth loop of this chain here and make treble crochet. crochet first two loops and then two more the last two loops we don't crochet yarn over two times again and in the same place in the same loop we make another treble crochet crochet first two loop and two more we have three uncrocheted loops on the hook yarn over two times again and in the same place make another treble crochet first two loop then two more we have four loops on the hook, three treble crochets and the first chain that also count as one stitch. And now turn your work. In the second loop we need to insert the hook, so yarn over two times again. And in the second loop we need to make four treble crochets. So grab the yarn, crochet first two loop, then two more. And don't crochet the last loop on the hook yarn over two times again and in the same place make a treble crochet first two loop then two more yarn over two times again in the same place another treble crochet and the last one in the same place So we made four treble crochets. Yarn over two times again and skip three loops. One, two, three. And insert the hook into the fourth. And in this loop we should crochet another four treble crochets. And now we should have 12 loops on the hook. 
Grab the yarn and carefully pull through the all loops like this and crochet one loop on the hook. So we crochet it with you three petals. And in this row we should make one more. So chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over two times again and insert the hook into this middle of flower. Grab the yarn and crochet three treble crochets. Why three? Because our first chain is also counted as one stitch. Ground the yarn and pull it through all the loops and crochet one loop on the hook. And now we're gonna make the second flower, so chain of five, three, four and five, yarn over two times again and insert the hook into the second loop of this chain. This is first and this is second. And in this loop crochet three treble crochets. One, two, and three. Yarn over two times and skip two loops. One and two. And insert the hook into the third. And crochet in this loop four treble crochets. Yarn over two times, skip three loops, one, two, three, and in the fourth insert the hook and make another four treble crochets. We have 12 loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and carefully pull it through the all loops on the hook. And crochet one loop on the hook. Chain of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yarn over 2 times and insert the hook into the middle of the flower and make 3 treble crochets. and crochet all four loops on the hook. That's what we have, two flowers. And we should continue to crochet these flowers until the end of the circle. I'll show you once again how to crochet the flower and then you with yourself. So crochet one loop on the hook, then make chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over two times and insert the hook into the second loop of this chain and crochet to knit three treble crochets. Yarn over two times, skip two loop, one insert the hook into the third and in this loop crochet four treble crochets. Yarn over two times. Skip three loops and in the fourth make four treble crochets.
we have 12 loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and carefully pull it through the all loops on the hook. Then crochet one loop on the hook and make a chain of 5. Yarn over two times and crochet three treble crochets in the middle of the flower. Crochet all four loops on the hook, then one, and chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over two times and in the second loop make three treble crochets. Yarn over two times, skip two loops and in the third make four treble crochet and start crocheting the new flower. And everything should look like this. So continue to crochet our flowers till the end of the circle. This is what I have and now I can cut the green yarn but leave a longer tip to convenient to hide the ends. And now we should join the row slip stitch in this connection. Insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull the first loop into the second. Then make chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and turn your work. And now we're gonna crochet two upper petals, it's more easily, so yarn over two times and insert the hook into the middle of the flower. Make four treble crochets and also don't crochet the last loop. Then crochet all 5 loops on the hook and one more. Since we skipped 3 loops in the previous row, so we should chain of 3. 1, 2, 3. Yarn over 2 times and in the same middle of the flower make another 4 treble crochets. Crochet all 5 loops on the hook and then one more. And as we skip two loops in the previous row, so we chain of two, yarn over two times and in the next middle of the next flower make another four treble crochets. Crochet all five loops on the hook, then one more and chain of three, yarn over two times and make another four treble crochets in the middle of this flower. Crochet all five loops, then one more, chain of two, and make another two petals in the next flower and so on till the end of the row. I am at the end of the row, so I chain of two and join the row with slip stitch in this connection but with green yarn because the next row will be green. So I grab the green yarn and this green yarn pull through the pink one. I changed my hook, so chain of two and turn your work. And now we're gonna crochet half double crochet, so yarn over one time, insert the hook into this arch and crochet three loops together, then one more again in the same arch. 
yarn over and next half double crochet in this connection of our petal. Between the petals make three half double crochets. Two and three. The next half double crochet in this connection. Between the flowers make two half double crochets. One, two. The next in the connection. Then three half double crochets between the petals. Then in the connection. And so on until the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row and I can cut the pink yarn. The first chain of ear loops is also counted as one stitch, so I don't crochet the last half double crochet in the connection. And now I'm gonna join the row with slip stitch by the second upper loop of the first chain. Chain of three, one, two, three, and now we have to crochet just rows up with every stitch as you like. I will alternate one row with double crochets, another row with half double crochet, then again double crochets, and again half double crochets. This row with double crochets, so turn your work, yarn over. And this chain of air loops is also count as one stitch, so we need to insert the hook into this second loop. Grab the yarn and crochet first two loops, then two more. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the next loop and make a double crochet. And so on till the end of the row. My last stitch I need to crochet here in this loop. And then we join the row in the third braid by two strands. Grab the yarn, first loop into the second one, chain of two and turn your work. And this row I'm gonna crochet with half double crochet, so yarn over and insert the hook into this second loop. Grab the yarn and crochet three loops together, yarn over again, next loop three together and so on till the end of the row. So when we'll go to the next row we chain of three because it's row with double crochets and when it's row with half double crochet we chain of two. So for my size I will crochet 12 rows up at all. You may have another number. I ran out of one skein of yarn so I add a new one. Just yarn over with new yarn and continue to crochet with my stitches. I've done my 12 rows and at all it's 16.5 cm. And now we're gonna crochet another flower rows. The same looks like this and it will be an armpit. And now we need to join the row with pink yarn. So grab the pink yarn and make a slip stitch. I changed my hook for smaller and now make a chain of 10. Yarn over two times and in the fifth loop make three treble crochets without crocheting the last loop. Turn your work, 
yarn over two times and in the second loop insert your hook. Make four treble crochets. Yarn over two times again, skip three loops and in the fourth insert the hook and crochet another four treble crochets. We have 12 loops on the hook and carefully crochet them all. Then crochet one loop and make chain of five. Yarn over two times and in the middle crochet three treble crochets. Then crochet all four loops together, then one more and make chain of five again. Yarn over two times and in the second loop from the chain make three treble crochets. Yarn over two times again, skip two loops and in the third continue crocheting the next flower. And continue crocheting the flowers until the end of the row. Join the row with slip stitch in this connection. Grab the yarn, first loop into the second one, and chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And turn your work. Yarn over two times and make four treble crochets in the middle of the flower. Crochet all five loops on the hook together, then one more, chain of three, yarn over two times and in the same middle make another four treble crochets. Crochet all five loops on the hook together, then one more, chain of two, and the next two petals in the next flower. So we make chain of two between the flowers and chain of three between the petals and so on until the end of the row. At the end make chain of two and join the row with green yarn in this connection. I change the hook and make a chain of two and turn your work. And we could cut the pink yarn. So as the first chain is also counted as one stitch, so in this arch I will make one half double crochet. Yarn over again and in this connection. Yarn over. Between the petals make three half double crochets. Then half double crochet in the connection and two half double crochet between the flowers and so on until the end of the row. Join the row with slip stitch, make chain of two and turn your work. From the second loop I start crocheting single crochets without yarn over. Just crochet two loops on the hook and continue till the end of the row. Join the row with slip stitch into the second loop of the first chain. And then continue make slip stitches in each loop all over the top. Thank you. 
At the end cut the yarn and pull out the loop. And with the needle make a seamless connection. Insert the needle by two strands into the very first braid and then insert the needle into the middle of the very last braid and tie the ends on the wrong side of the top. So it's almost done. The height is 21.5 cm, the width is 34. And you know I want to make more beautiful edge about the flowers, so I crochet slip stitches between the stitches about the flowers. So if you wanna, you may not to crochet it because it's already beautiful. So insert the hook just between all the stitches about the flowers and start crocheting slip stitches just like this. And at the end I make a seamless connection. I crocheted the row with slip stitches at the bottom too and you may see that this row a little bit tight in the top, but I like it even more. And now we need to hide all the ends on the wrong side of the top. And now we're gonna start to crochet shoulder straps and I've already marked where I want to start it. And you see I have three flowers on the front side between the straps and five loops on one strap. On the back side I have two flowers between the straps and on side three flowers between the straps. So I insert the hook into this loop and grab the pink yarn. Crochet the first loop on the hook. Then in the same place insert the hook and crochet two loops together. Then the next loop. Grab the yarn, crochet two loops together. It's a single crochet. And so on till the marker. Take off the marker and the last loop. Chain one and turn your work. Insert the hook into this first loop. Wrap the yarn and make a single crochet. Sew on till the end of the row. Then chain one and turn your work again. Insert the hook into the first loop and continue crocheting single crochets until you reach the desired length of the strap. Now I just thinking that this strap is too thin for me, so I will crochet this strap with seven loops, not five. I crocheted 56 rows up and now chain 1 and cut the yarn and leave a longer tip because now we're gonna to sew it to the back side. So take a needle and sew it like this.
and hide the end on the wrong side of the top. And crochet the same strap from the other side. And this is what we have and let's try it on! Well, with the task of crocheting the top we generated me an AI, I coped I think so. Write in the comments similar to what AI generated for me or not. I really like the idea and the result, I think I will use AI more often so that it helps to come up with even more interesting ideas for crocheting. I hope you like this top and write in the comments your opinion, what do you think about it and how do you like the work with AI, is it interesting or not, maybe I should make more videos about crocheting with AI. Also write in the comments the results of your work, what do you think, it will be interesting to read. I thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, so let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and back it is!